Well, I'm Scott Brady with Expedition Portal, and I am here with our brand new project vehicle. This is a 2021 GMC Sierra AT4. This is the half ton variant, and it's got this gem of a motor, this three liter diesel with a 10 speed automatic. So this area that we're in, in Sedona, just recently had some severe flash floods. So the trail that we're on has been completely blown out by the water. There's no more water in the wash, but the trail has been so damaged that we're gonna need to actually push our way through a bunch of stones and sand that's moved around to get to the trail on the other side. So this is a good example of why we need a vehicle with a lot of capability. It's a good idea to have excellent tires and locking differentials and ground clearance because you never know when you're going to come across a washout just like this. Let's talk real quick about the things that I like about this truck and why we selected this model. It's also important to note that this is a project with GM and GMC, so we didn't receive support in the purchase of this vehicle. We just want to disclose that. The things that I really like about this truck comes down to this three liter diesel. I'm getting almost 30 miles to the gallon driving around on a 34 inch all terrain with bead locks. And if you just keep your foot out of it, you can actually even get a little bit better than that. Paired with that 10-speed automatic, plenty of acceleration, great fuel economy, and on the trail, you get all that low-end torque. So very drivable off-road as well. I also like the fact that the vehicle has a two-inch suspension lift from the factory. So you'll notice in the footage that's coming up is that we came through a couple pretty serious ground clearance events, washed out trails. We got storms coming in all the way around us and uh, the vehicle has really exceeded my expectations. It does have a rear locking differential and it does come on uh, mechanically. So it requires a little bit of wheel spin to get that differential to lock. So you need to be aware of that and drive accordingly. Just to expect a little bit of wheel spin, it locks in and then it stays locked all the way through the event, which is great. Uh, some of the things I don't care for off-road is the suspension is a little light for the larger suspension event. So if you have higher speeds or even moderate speeds and bigger holes, bigger rocks, it really does blow through the travel. At low speeds, it's very, very comfortable. So just keep that in mind. It's really comfortable on the road, really comfortable at low speeds, even in the rocks. Uh, but once you get higher speeds, you want a little bit more damping effectiveness. The other thing that I noticed is these square wheel wells start to constrain the tire size. So I really find that about 34, 35 inch diameter tire is the max that you can fit without a lot of modification. The things that I really am excited about with this truck is the fact that it's available with this small displacement diesel, American made truck with a lot of capability. We've got some plans for it. We're gonna do an Icon suspension system. We've already installed the AEV beadlock wheels with the BF Goodrich tires. We're gonna do some additional skid plating, probably some rocker panel protection as well. And then we're gonna fit a camper in the back. This is gonna be a first for me. This is actually my first ever full-size pickup project. So we're gonna install a Scout Kenai, which is a full-size, a non popping up style camper so we'll have lots of comfort and time in the backcountry our goal is to spend more time out in the field and that camper is going to allow for that so stay tuned for future events we're going to shut this thing down before the lightning strikes the storm is literally surrounding us thank you for watching